Hey guys, Michelle here from the Sled Dog Jeep. So glad you could join me because today I'm doing a gear review on the Topo Designs River Backpack Tote. It's a 13 liter bag that I have used for so many of my daily carries. <laughs> you guys as I mentioned this is a 13 liter bag it is significant in size it can carry a lot of different items and I'm going to go through that here in a little while but I want to talk about the fact that this is durable fabric it is 1000 D Cordura nylon which means it is pretty durable and it can take a beating you can throw it against the rocks you can get it wet you can drag it out of the back of your Jeep. You can do a lot with this bag. And I want to dive deep into all of the parts and pieces. And I'm also going to show you some of the things that I like to put in this bag when I use it as my daily carry. But also, I like to use this when we go on uh, day trips and even longer trips. I use this as the go-to bag. All right, so what makes this Topo bag so different than other day packs is that it is not just a backpack. It's got great straps. They've got some good padding and they sit right on your body. And I'll show you guys that in other parts of the video. But it's got these tote handles that make it easy to carry and grab if you need to. Um, it's got a... Uh, buckle strap here as well as a drawstring for stuffing your things down deep inside the bag and like I said we're going to show you guys some of the things that goes in the bag that I normally pack up it does have those YKK zippers that is pretty important for the uh, durability of this bag that makes it more rugged um, and able to be tossed around along the river when you're kayaking or uh, backpacking or any of those kinds of things. It's got mesh sides, um, so it's breathable. That's My hand is inside the bag. You can see my hand there. But then they've got the water bottle pouches on both sides as well. But that breathability means that anything you put inside of here or if it gets wet, it does have an opportunity to drain out and dry. So we're, we're not talking about putting your laptop in here if you're going to the river, but you can put other things in there that you're not so worried about getting wet. And that's kind of the point, like tossing in uh, your river shoes after you get done or you're going to change into your hiking boots or whatever, stuff like that. The versatility with this bag is incomparable you guys and I've had a lot of bags as an outdoor uh, enthusiast my husband and I are both outdoor leaders and I gotta tell you this is the one I'm grabbing every single time now um, we we did a few trips last year when we first got this bag and I gotta tell you we waited to do the review because I really wanted to test this bag. I really wanted to see if it could hold up to the types of adventuring that I like to do. So last year we took a trip to Belize and uh, this was in my luggage and I was so glad that I decided to bring it along. That was the first time we took that trip. It was also the first time we took the bag. A couple of reasons why I took the bag. I knew I was gonna scuba dive I knew I was going to be doing a lot of hikes. I knew I was going to go caving and we did a surprise. We stayed in the jungle for a week longer than we expected. And we did some horseback riding in the caves as well. And so this bag went with me on every trip, everywhere we went for two weeks in Belize. And I got to tell you, it was a godsend on the boat with the scuba stuff because I was able to quickly pull out the items that I needed for the day for scuba diving. Um, I was able to pack a change of clothes and get out of my wet stuff, throw it in the bag. And remember, it's got the mesh on the side, so I knew it was going to dry quickly. Um, we used it I felt like I got the most use out of it when we were doing the caving. Um, we hiked up and down and all around the mountainsides and the jungles. Uh, we used it when we went to the, uh, the Aztec monuments and 
things like that. And it was just great because we were able to pack our snacks. We were able to pack um, a, a hat for me. We were able to pack our sunscreen. We were able to have our daily essentials, if you will, including water bottles and, and things like that, which is great because it's hot down there even in April. And uh, I got to tell you, there were a lot of other people on the tours with us that didn't have day packs at all, or were carrying day packs that were much larger than this 13 liters. They were carrying packs that were 16, 20. Somebody even had a 40 liter day pack, which is way too big. And they ended up just leaving them on the little tour vans that we were using. So they weren't able to even have any of their stuff with them. So I got a lot of looks and I got a lot of questions about my river backpack, which I really liked. We uh, came home and uh, we were on to our next adventure. We do a lot of driving when we go down to the lower 48 and we like to go to the national parks. And this last summer was our road trip through Yellowstone. And this backpack proved its weight in gold there as well. Again, we had our daily essentials in there, little uh, energy bars and our water bottles. But also because um, we wanted to do some droning and uh, use a little bit of video with our GoPro, uh, we were able to get bison. We were able to get a lot of epic views um, from the drone. And uh, that all I just tossed in the bag because I told Robert, there's no reason for us to take the full camera bag. We just need to grab this and have some things in there to protect those items. And it did fine. And uh, the drone survived <laughs> and everything else. And we were having a good time enjoying the park that way. Um, Yellowstone, we did do a drive through. We did not camp or anything like that. So most of the time the gear was not in the bag, but when we'd get out and go for a hike or try to get to a location that we were trying to film, that's when it proved worthy for us. Um, the most important use of this bag has been Robert. Robert goes and works out regularly at a local club here in Alaska. And when he goes, he likes to uh, do a lot of laps in the pool and he likes to do uh, sauna therapy as well as a hot tub therapy um, post-workout. And so he's always got his own towel with him and his own swim trunks and even um, some water sandals for him to walk around in the club. And he throws all of that into this bag because of its ability to be breathable. It drains if it's got too much water in it. And so all of the clothes and things, um, it, it's just easier for him to take care of when they're wet. Um, so he really enjoys using the bag as his daily workout bag. I have used the bag as a uh, daily hiking bag, just whatever I'm gonna do. Uh, I, you can put a laptop in it. Um, it's not as protective as you would think, but you can put your laptop in it. You can put other things in it, um, but it is not specifically designed for electronics. It is designed for you to use as a day pack or a grab and go pack when you're gonna go do a day hike or a short trip like that. It is not a long use pack. Um, and that, that's okay, that's not what it was designed for. So those aren't negatives about it. Um, you can hang things off of it. There's just a lot of things that you can do with it. But for the most part, it is one of the most essential day packs that you can find. After I have used this bag for more than three trips and I have used it on the daily and as a dog trainer, I gotta tell you guys one other tip about this bag. It is a great bag to have if you're a dog trainer because you can put a lot of things in here that you might need while you're out training your dog. And we all know that dogs are gross. They get their things wet with their own saliva and things. And if you gotta pack in their uh, poop bags and you gotta pack them out filled, this is a bag that you wanna use for that kind of stuff. And I know that's a little bit gross, but think about it. The bag is breathable. So. 
I got to just say, overall, because of the ways that I have used it in my daily life as an adventure enthusiast, as a dog trainer, as my husband uses it for his workout bag, and we use it when we've gone on some pretty epic trips, I got to say that I would probably give this bag an eight and a half out of 10 for performance, durability, and usability. Um, I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 because there's just some little flaws here that I would personally like to remove from the bag. Um, remember I told you guys that it has the tote handles. Well, the tote handles adjust quite long on either side of the bag on the front the front handle adjusts and the back handle adjusts and honestly those get in the way more than they are useful and so those would be something that I would say are technically not necessary because most of us will grab our bag from the hand from the strap on the back side of it instead of worrying about where the handles are and so that's just one thing that I would say is probably not necessary to be on the bag whatsoever everything else though um, is pretty good the straps are fine they they do expand quite large so you can really pack this bag um, the zippers, they're, they're fine, but because they are so chunky, though, um, they do have a tendency to crinkle or crimple, um, if you will. So sometimes you have to use two hands to use them instead of just a one hand situation. So, I mean, there's just a few little things that they could improve on. But overall, for the uses that I have used it for, it worked out just fine. You guys, the color schemes, you can get a lot of different color schemes. I chose this color scheme just because I thought it it looked the nicest. It was visible. I could find it easily. Um, but they do have other color schemes. And, um, you know, you can, you can make it more personalized to what your tastes are. So what do you guys think? Is this something that you would be interested in for your daily adventures, your planned adventures that are a little bit longer or even out of country let us know in the comments section below and be sure to smash that like button and subscribe